Good morning, students. This is Dr. Shubhi, and in this session, we will be discussing how to conduct systematic sampling in MS Excel. So, students, the data is the uh, same which was in the previous example. I have list of names and with their IDs, and now I have to systematically select a sample of five names who will be taken further for, let's say, an interview. So, out of these 32 students, I have to select now five students in a systematic manner. So, how will I go about it? So, now you know three things that the population size is 32 over here. The sample size is 5. That is out of 32, I have to select only 5 students. And now, who are those 5 students? That is that we have to decide because it has to be in a systematic manner. So, in the systematic manner sampling, we use the find out the kth value with the help of the population divided by the sample size. I am doing in front of you. Population is what? 32. I am just typing everything here and showing it to you. 32 divided by 5 comes 6.4 which means every 6th student in the list, every 6th person who is getting a random number, uh, a systematic random number of um, from 1 to 6. So, every 6th student will be picked for the interview. So, this is my kth value. Now, when I start sampling, the first person I am giving a random number, uh, I am giving a number which is starting a series 1. And in the second cell, I am using a function mod which is basically used to find out the modulus of a division operation. So, I am using the first number is 1. I am dividing that by what? By 6 and I am adding 1 to it. So, what I am doing? I am generating the next number. So, my next number is what? It is 2. So, likewise, I am doing it for the entire data set which I have. You can see over here till 32 I am going and I get a list of series generated for all the names from 1 to 6. So, once the 6 is over, again it becomes 1. Now, you will ask me how this magic is happening. This magic is happening because of the logic we have applied. We are using a mod function over here. So, you can see here C9 is uh, what? C9 is 5. So, 5 divided by 6. Okay. So, 5 divided by 6 plus 1. That is how I am getting 6 over here because the remainder is 6. And then I am again doing this. So, here what is happening? Here 6 is my C10. So, 6 is divided by 6. So, what is happening over here? I am getting 1. 6 divided, 6 divided by 6. So, the remainder becomes 0. There is no remainder. It is full division. Okay. So, for that reason, the remainder becomes 0. And now, again, it becomes 1. So, that is the logic over here. That with the help of mod operator, I am finding out the modulus and adding a 1 to it. So, here in the upper case, the remainder was what? The remainder and plus 1 was becoming 6. The value was becoming 6. Six. Okay. So, that is how it is happening. Now, this I have generated. Now, what I will do? It is again very easy. This is what? This is my, uh, let's say, name random number. Okay. Again. And I am selecting my entire data over here. You can see I am selecting entire data over here and I am going to sort and filter. So, in the sort and filter, I am going to the filter facility now. And you can see the moment I click over here, I get filters over here. So, randomly I want what? I want the 6th value. So, I am de-clicking and then I am selecting 6 and then I do OK. So, this is sheer magic. You can see over here, I selected CCC, FFF, LLL, RRR and XXS. X. These 5 people are selected for interview with their IDs on the basis of systematic sampling. So students, stay tuned to my channel for the next session in which I will be teaching you how to conduct cluster sampling in MS Excel. This is Dr. Shubhi signing out from YouTube. Stay tuned for my channel Shubhilal and enjoy the tricks in MS Excel used very nicely to conduct a successive research. Thank you.